here on YouTube, I like to do classy corners, and usually they involve things that elevate your lifestyle, but realistically, like, classy corner, that's part of it, sure, but it's how you carry yourself, is that distinguished pursuit of life. And I just wanted to impart a little wisdom on you all that I've noticed in my life and was made abundantly clear this past weekend when Heather and I were out. Stick around, hopefully you'll learn something, maybe you'll disagree with me, who knows, we can talk about it in the comments. One thing that I've learned in my life that I've seen as a constant from growing up the way I did, from doing retail work, from doing customer facing work, from working with clients in my later professional life after college and all of that, is that people that have a little bit of success, not a lot, just a little bit, are often the worst people that you will ever meet in your life. They are rude, they don't care about wait staff or service members or anyone other than themselves because they've earned just a little bit of success in their life and it makes them think that they are better than everyone. But I think the guy on TikTok that does rich versus really rich has really hit the nail on the head because the, the way up there successful people are the nicest people in the world. They take care of everyone they come across. They are very pleasant and nice to everyone, no matter where they are on the totem pole. And if you want to live a classy lifestyle, if you want to have that distinguished pursuit of life, then you've got to always treat those around you with that sort of kindness and empathy and care and, and not be just a jerk. Like it doesn't get you anywhere. Making people feel like they don't belong somewhere that doesn't get you anywhere. The reason I bring all this up is there have been a couple of situations lately that have happened in my life that I've noticed that have just reiterated that. Uh, the most recent one was Heather and I were going to the Apple store to do her iPhone upgrade, right? And we're off being helped by someone and then people come up behind us where you go to check in and there's a, a lady being helped by one person and a man with his children being helped by the other person. Like those are the only two check-in people. And this guy, he walks in with his little Chanel bag and he just pushes past the, the man with his children and he was like, started cussing him out about like, what the F are you doing here? Like, get out of my way. Like, I need to do this, blah, 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 blah. I have an appointment. And at first I thought they knew each other and I thought they were joking. I was like, oh man, that was a boisterous bunch. But then it almost got to the point where they were like balling up fists, like, and about to hit before security got involved and got rid of them. And I'm like, what in the world is going on in your life that you think you're so much better than someone that you just push past them while they're actively being helped by an employee and just think that's okay and then get mad at them for inconveniencing you. That is insane. No one should live their lives like that. And if you do, you really need to check yourself. But then the other one was on our vacation recently. We were at the Animal Kingdom Lodge and so we were going to Boma for breakfast. And we're there with Heather's parents and brother and sister-in-law and my niece and nephew. And you know, like obviously it's a nice hotel, it's a nice restaurant, and there are people there that have gotten a little bit of success in life again, and they think they just own the world and that you're inconveniencing them just by being there. And I'm, we're all sitting, waiting on our reservation. We're just off to the side. We're not in the middle of anything. People keep like walking into Heather's mom and pushing her past and like scoffing at her and, all this stuff and she keeps like moving to the side and shifting around and apologizing to these people for hitting her while she's standing still and finally i was like you have just as much right to be here as these people don't let them push you over or make you feel like you don't belong because you have every much a right as they do they just have just an ounce of success and they think they're better than so many people so they want to look down on you and that's not right and you shouldn't treat people like that now obviously no one's perfect and i'm not saying you should be but i'm saying these are things that you should think about and try to avoid doing in your life 
once you're growing in success as a person, as a business, whatever. Like, treat the people around you right and treat them with kindness and care. And the world will just be a better place all around. Not to mention your life will be better because everyone around you won't have this deep-seated grudge against you. But yeah, that's today's Classy Corner. It's different than usual, right? But like I said, I wanted to branch out from more than just the things in life because those are just accessories to classiness. They don't make you classy. And I also wanted to work on all of us having that, like I, like I like to say, the distinguished pursuit of life and just being classy individuals. All right, I hope to see you out there. Bye.